All right, today I'm going to teach you how to fix an image on Facebook that is cropped out. As you can see, the profile photo here is their, this company's logo, and it's cropping out the S and some of the image. So we want to make it so that Facebook doesn't do that. As you can see, this is the full image, and it was cropping out the sides of it because it's a rectangle rather than a square. For Facebook profile images, they all need to be a perfect square in order to avoid any cropping of the actual image surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this because this is a random page. And then uh, you want to use Photoshop. The only solution I have for this is Photoshop. It's a program I love to use. I do offer this service for about $10. I can crop your existing logo and make it fit for you. So we're going to go ahead and open our image in a new window. And then I like to make the, the canvas a little bit bigger here so I can kind of get a full window view of this. And the first step is going to be to check your dimensions. So just click on image uh, size here, and you'll see that it is not a perfect square. It's actually a rectangle, and that is exactly why Facebook was cropping out part of the logo. So to fix that, I go to uh, uh, canvas size, and you'll see the, the size again. And I like to switch it to pixels. And then I, what I want to do is make the shortest size equal to the longest. That way we have a square and you can center it by clicking that little gray area in the, the alignment anchor area. And now you have a square. It does have a little bit lacking of a padded area on that right side there. So what I like to do is go back to canvas size and add a little bit of a cushion. So I'm going to add about five, five to ten pixels um, to that to remove or to add in a little bit of white space on that right side. Again, you just add in about five pixels, five to ten. I, I believe there's a certain amount, I think it's only two pixels that Facebook technically removes, but this one's really close to the edge, so we're going to add a little bit more. At that point, you have a perfect square. Your image is not cut off, so you can just save it at this point. In this way, um, you can fit it on there. One thing to note is Facebook requires it to be over 160 pixels. Otherwise, it's going to distort it because it's a very small area and they're going to be making it a little bit bigger. So always make sure it's above 160. And if yours is a little bit below, this is where you can actually use that image size section to increase it. <clears throat> so you go to your Facebook page. This is my uh, Field by Coffee LLC Internet Marketing page. So you click on that image area, click edit, and then you want to upload the image from your computer. At that point, you have an option to make it bigger or smaller. As it loaded, it was too big, so you want to size it down. And this is why if you have it only at like 160 or 180 pixels, they're going to give you like a warning saying, you know, this is too small, it might be blurry. So it's good to have it bigger. So once you have it all fit in there uh, to your liking, just click save. At that point, it'll load it in there, and there is no cropping of that image whatsoever.